Hey there folks, Rel here. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Uncut. Playing through the game. I actually want to go over here because I got this this little little thing going on. Um, Uncut is a series dedicated to uh, playing through Planet Side 2 and showing you all sorts of fun and gameplay as I just, you know, run my mouth and talk through it. And there have been a lot of changes over the past or since the past uh, episode. We do these once every month, uh, potentially twice every month, depending on how we want to do it in the future. But uh, but yeah, there have been a lot of changes, especially to well, to the the VP system, the construction construction system. Uh, uh, my nose is really stuffed up, so you guys are gonna have to forgive me, or you know, don't and be super cynical. But. <laughs> Uh, a lot of changes have been made to the art as well. So you'll notice that Almerish is a little bit more... It doesn't look as... In my opinion, it doesn't look as cartoony. Like, everything seems a little bit more uh, down to earth. And then, like, I open this and, and show you all this. Um, <laughs> these are my ridiculous vehicles. What are we doing right now? Let's just skip to it so I can stop, stop talking. Uh, yeah, so construction system had a lot of changes to it uh, in terms of incentivizing it more and we are we're gonna hopefully see some of that today like if you fight near a vp gen you get experience uh we have other stuff on the way like uh the instant action was reworked so now it'll actually drop you if i instant action it's going to drop me right here it doesn't matter if i have uh an actual spawn point in the area if the fighting was down here it would drop me down here uh Oh, no, don't do it! I was kidding! Oh, why did I do that? Um, but the, the instant action system is now based on hotspots, or it's basically like hotspots. Instead of uh, requiring uh, bases. Like, so if, uh, if a fight is taking place in an open field, in, uh, in a player-made base, or anything like that, you would... You'll just appear at the closest spawn point near the actual fight, which is a huge, huge, really cool change that <clears throat> that was made very recently. And there's there's just a lot of stuff like that. We've been working on a, a lot of a lot of different features. And it, uh, what do I want to do? I wanted to do something this episode. Okay, uh, right. So I want to play with. Let's see. Let's play with. The T5 AMC. I haven't touched this weapon in forever. Oh. Thank you! But it'll... Uh, HVA was revamped. So that if you have... Uh, if you're using uh, high velocity ammo, you're not going to get a vertical recoil increase, which is... It's important for weapons that have... Uh, in particular, it's important for weapons that have angular recoil, because... Uh, additional vertical recoil doesn't play nicely with that at all. And also, uh, it's... <sighs> I'm gonna set this up for... Man, I haven't, I haven't touched this thing in forever. And also, it's, you know, it's better for, for long-range combat. Or, um, if you have weapons with, uh, with high first-shot recoil multipliers. Because a lot of times, that's not... You can't compensate for that. Uh, not with the same sort of accuracy because the first shot will be different than you know the second shot so your your compensation uh, the way you compensate for it uh, changes that's actually why um why uh, hold on I'm just gonna sit right in the open <laughs> uh Man, I'm dying right now. And not just over and over, I mean, my nose is like... It's all sorts of stuffed up. Um, but yeah, so when you see... Uh, most players will gravitate toward weapons that have... Uh, low first shot recoil. Multipliers. Because it just makes it so much more controllable. Nope, 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 nope. Do I have 18 mines? I do. Oh no! Ugh, I see that guy up there on my left. Oh no, no, go! Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna chase you. 
Now when there's all this action going on. Oh no! Oh, why did I do that? Oh, I shouldn't have placed a mine there. That's okay. He'll live. So currently in the works is, uh... Come on. Ah, oh, no, I got him. Currently in the works as of making this video is are the air-to-air -air changes, and that'll be we'll probably do some flying uh, in an episode of Uncut after that goes live. Stop destroying everything I love, the EMPs. I kind of want to drop this uh, this two X reflex for a a one X instead. I think this base is a lot of fun because it's kind of like a pit that you have to commit to. And because of that you get like... The defenders have to work out of it. Like, so it's, it's, it's almost like a spawn camp situation, but it's, it's much better because you can get into the building really quick and there's grab lifts up on, like, they, they give you a lot of... It's just... Uh, charge to uh, the building in front. Medicare. This guy's gonna charge, okay. Um, gives you a lot of verticality to play with. And that's uh, it's an, a feature that isn't explored nearly enough. Oh man. Oh nope nope nope. Isn't explored nearly enough in uh, in Planet Side Two. I mean, you have this huge like wide open area, and we, we barely touch the verticality on a on a lot of bases. Oh come on. Yeah, the angular recoil on this thing is just... is intense. I used to think this was such, like, an accurate weapon. And then, as I... as I got better, it started to annoy me more. And I, uh... started using it less and less. But I still think it's a great weapon. And uh, I'm probably I'm probably just gonna switch it over to, man. See, this is what I was talking about with the spawn camp situation: is that you can't really get out of it once you're you're dipped into the uh, the pit here. But it's also difficult for the uh, the attackers as well. One of the easier ways. To, to deal with this is actually to um, go on the the catwalks that are up here. And that way, see, so yeah, like, look at how many shots I put in that guy. And it's just the the rate of fire of the uh, T5 AMC is it is super slow for the damage model. We're actually going to go back to one of those catwalks and we'll, we'll fight up it. I guess I don't need to redeploy. Another thing that's kind of fun is just... Um... Come on. Is just how exposed you are uh, to the vehicles up here, but at the same time you have that option to uh, to drop down. So this is really, it's just it's just a great base, in my opinion. A lot of fun to play with.
What are we what are we looking at here? There's a sniper off on my left, but oh no 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 no! What am I running on this for? Flak armor. Okay, all right. Yeah, I can dig it. Come on, medic. What are these guys doing in the corner? You guys making out? Oh. Dang. Might be able to do it. I think you can all jump up here. Oh. Maybe. Hold on. Dang it. Can you... What? How is this my final warning? I barely touched anybody. <laughs> okay. Gonna try that out. Come on, come on. Gonna spend all this episode like trying to. Oh, there it is. Hope I don't die immediately now. So you'll see that I'm using the uh, the turret for cover, and it's letting me uh, kind of peek out around the corners just a little bit more than uh, than I'd normally be able to. I'm still at risk of uh, of dying uh, pretty easily, but oh, what what is this? <laughs> That's okay. We'll, we'll we'll try harder to to kill each other next time. Nope. Oh no. Oh man. It's unfortunate. That was a nice little run. We started to push him out, so it was good to it's good to get the flank over here. But they have a Sunday right here, and you can tell because people keep you know randomly jumping over the mountain. Um. I'm gonna do is Let's see. Uh, okay. Let's grab grab a vehicle. Try not to get sniped. Uh, 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 uh. I want to unequip the uh, the gun on this thing just so I can show you the 360 view. Oh, look at it! Look at it! I mean, if I'm just using it for transportation, then it's not. You know, I don't really need a gun, All right? I mean, Wraith is uh is obviously one of the like the best platform when it comes to uh to dealing with did he oh he shot the mine when i had it in my hand and it didn't actually kill him that's unfortunate that's really unfortunate let's see let's see if we have uh yeah. We can go grab another flash. It's a dang shame. Oh! There's one. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Is this in here, sir? <laughs> this guy's probably like <laughs> losing his mind. 
Okay. I'm just gonna drop a couple of these over here. Oh, you didn't have any C4. Oh, I gotta pay for it. It's a dang shame. Saw him with the detonator before. I should have. I should have known that he had already thrown it. Uh, but that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so pushing up to that base, where'd I where'd I die? Right here. So the Sunday right there. I like to mark those on my map. I can actually get back there by myself uh, and nuke it if I really wanted to. I just had to equip a utility pouch. But not overly interested. This ant. It's so annoying. It's like chilling there. But yeah, definitely like the uh, the 360 degree view for Flash. One of the concerns that, uh, that we have for... Well, that I have personally for... Uh, putting uh, free look on flashes with weapons. Well, right now we can't actually do it because if we did, then you'd be able to shoot behind you and it'd be like, it'd be kind of amusing, but it'd be way too much twisted metal. <laughs> they weren't, they would make sense. Um, and also there's just the, the fidelity issues, you know, the gun would be clipping through the, the vehicle and shooting through the guy's body and that would make no sense to do. Um, and uh, people keep bringing up the ant, like, oh, the ant can, can, you know, 360 look and uh, like, yeah, but the ant can also uh, harvest through itself. You know, not as concerned about that, obviously, because it's because it's um, it's not like a weapon weapon. Did I... Did I get him? Oh man, that poor BR-16. But he thinks I'm hacking so hard. Alright, what I want to do is get some tank mines in front of the... In front of the vehicle bay. Because the vehicle bay on the, in this base is, is kind of detached. Uh, it's not... It's not close enough to, to really be convenient uh, to check with, with mines for. I don't even care. I'm just still gonna. Oh, I can't kill that guy. Where is that heavy? He's not dead yet. Okay, you wander off. Um, maybe he did? Yeah, pick this one guy up so that I can get the free kill. And then I, I shouldn't be doing this against VR-13s. It's not, it's not a great thing to do. But this, you know. Yeah, look at, look at this guy. Oh, that poor guy. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you he thinks I'm hacking. Uh... Yeah, it was just a really quick kill with uh, with the headshots there, and kind of unfortunate. I I might be able to get a mine. No, he's he's running away. That's good. The next person to come through here will uh, get lit up. Come buddy. Drive buddy, drive! This guy's gonna get me killed. Yep. Oh, where? where? Hit somebody. There's one. Like I had a shotgun. And there's a guy hunting me with the hunter crossbow. Oh, 
Oh, this guy's up top. No, 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 no. Yeah, jump, jump on down, jump on down. You run with my knife out because you run faster. This guy has pink camo. He must be dangerous. I'm pretty sure that guy is still. Yeah, there's the, the infiltrator still running around with the uh, the dildo knife out. I was hoping that would done. <laughs> I was hoping that the mine would kill him, but I could not find that infiltrator at all. That's too funny. <laughs> I'm really surprised. <coughs> Excuse me, that uh, nobody stepped on these mines yet. Maybe the Vanguard will. Maybe. Maybe. He's so close. He's so close. Get back up into that mine. No? Can you? Mm. Dang. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did not mean to sound so enthusiastic. Oh, look at this sunset. Oh, yeah, there it is. Take him three mine, free mine kills. It's it's about to get nighttime on Amrish, and that's gonna severely screw with the the compression quality of of the video, just because uh, nighttime on Amrish right now is is definitely it's very foggy, which I think is awesome. But people complain about not being able to see, uh, which is you know legitimate, but. I think we have lights for a reason. Can't actually turn mine on because I unbound it. <laughs> but I also, it's it was fine to me. Uh, seeing the the nights earlier, it was it was definitely a lot of fun. So I hope that it sticks around for a while. But I do know that uh, that Bill, uh, he's he's the art guy. He's taking uh, the feedback into consideration. He's still continuing to make tweaks and stuff. So. Oh no! <laughs> Must get okay. Let's see if we can uh, trick this. Oh, actually. Oh man, I wanted to field goal that. Come on, destroy my uh, my ATV. It's just in there. It's just waiting for you. Oh, there you are. Come on, guys. Oh, what's that? That uh, that one guy that thought I was hacking. Or maybe it's a different guy. I'm a, I'm a big hacker. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get some people to. Oh, come on. What? I am like, wow, that was. That was pretty, uh. Pretty horrible. Let's see. So we still got 70% pop here. Oh, look at this little nook. It's a nice little hidey hole. Where's this? Alright. Imagine like, imagine just just coming in here to, to chill. Actually, there's a little reader right up top. I'm gonna wait till he goes. Wait, oh, is the terminal? The terminal is, is right there. Okay. And my mines are still up. I'm just gonna pick people off. Oh man, that's horrible. I suck at uh, clicking and tracking at the same time. Yeah, but when the targets aren't moving, it's a little bit easier. <laughs> that lib is overhead again. Hopefully, I'm under cover. If it's a solo live, then you don't really care. And you heard the tank buster going off, but I can also hear, I believe it's a duster. So, oh my God. These poor guys. At least they like, they know I'm here. So 
I keep getting... And maybe I'm getting spotted. Not actually running the right implant to uh to be able to check, but look at this. Oh, oh there's a kill. Oh, I got shot from behind. Oh man. Run boy, run. No, no, no! <laughs> Enemy engineer. That's fun. But yeah, so Amrush is gonna get super super dark now. And I'm going to fly uh, for a little bit just to show you kind of how, uh, how dark it actually is. Alright. So Engineer is... Uh, a lot of people refer to it as the, the least... Uh, combat viable class. Uh, I mean, in a stand-up fight, they have they don't have you know regeneration like a medic, and they don't have a shield like a heavy assault, and they can't really flank uh, like a light assault. And they obviously don't have a cloak like an infiltrator. But at the same time, I think they're uh, let's see thermals. I want to put on I want to put on night vision just to to see if it's actually remotely useful. Look at this. Look at this beautiful darkness. And night vision is still not useful at all. It's like, hey, everything's gray, and here's another shade of gray. Another lightning kill. Let's see where we're we going. The waypoint. Okay. But I think it. Oh, I, I love it. I love the way it looks. And I'm not going to be able to. I'm probably not going to be able to kill this guy because I do have a banshee. Banshee has a, a small clip. Mine's not even upgraded. Oh, oh, and I'm using rocket pods. Well, maybe if he just, uh, if he ate all of those, I guess... I guess I was wrong. Okay. Um... So I'm actually... According to, to Hater, and I'm, I'm a horrible, I'm a horrible pilot, so I'm, I'm inclined to believe him. Uh, mosquitoes kind of need to play to the strengths, or rather the uh, the weaknesses of the other fighters. So Reavers tend to get up close. Uh, so many Reavers. What's going, what's going on here? Uh, Reavers get up close. Uh, scythes keep their distance, and then mosquitoes kind of gotta play to their play to whatever the opposite one is so see this light assault this is this is going to completely change when I uh, when rocket rifles come in like you're you're gonna see the, the bale assaults and then they're just gonna light you up with flak and there's there's ways that we can balance that um, the first one that I actually want to do is is just flak is uh, actually a little bit stronger than it, it probably needs to be right now so just toning down the damage will be It'll be a nice, nice uh, boost. So the scythe is uh, supposed to try to stay at range, which means I need to get close. This is me again, listening to to haters' advice here. And I am at uh, a disadvantage when it comes to oh, it comes to having ammo, I guess. Okay, well, let's see what we can uh, do with these. Aw, oh, that's a dang shame. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll switch over to, to to thermals again and, and then head up there. But that was a fun little, little ESF romp. It's a shame I didn't have uh, a better setup for air. Because those guys were not very skillful uh, <laughs> at all. I mean, neither neither am I, but uh, yeah, definitely could have done better than that. Look at it. I mean, that's not gorgeous. Look at it. Oh man, I love it. I love it so much. It's like a double rainbow. Is that meme too old? It just looks so good. Uh, so I, I know Bill is—he's talked about toning down the, uh, 
either the the fog or the darkness or the shadows, um, one or the other. But I, I hope that personally that a lot of this stuff stays because it's just it looks really good and it's it's fun to play into because you can there's knights have never been like dark uh dark dark post beta and honestly i don't like dark knights i don't they, they feel it feels like i i don't know like uh i i can't even explain it but i just don't like the, the way that it feels but this misty stuff like it's still light out there's the moon's reflecting off of the ground and it's still but i mean but there's just you know so much fog that uh for one i i want to say that it's good for performance um just because it helps to clear things at uh in distance but at least that, that's how they do it in h1z1 they probably don't do it here we probably just base it on render distance but but you still have the the darkness element right so you're not going to get completely wrecked by esf unless they have you know thermals and then in that case they have to get up closer than they, they normally would and i still i pulled it my banshee again and it also oh there's oh pinata so this is getting changed by the way um i want to kind of outline this because it's you see how much damage i'm doing to this this valkyrie that's that's unsaid that's not supposed to happen but it's the reason that it does is because it's right now we're using the um We're not using the ESF nose gun resistance, we're using, uh... <laughs> we're using, uh, heavy machine gun resistance. So that's like the basilisk, um, yeah, mostly basilisks. There's a, there's a handful of other weapons that use them as well, but that's, that's a big one. So that's why they rip through Valkyries because the resistances are set up in such a way that it's meant to counter or to be vulnerable to like, you know, Sunderers and just the, the default weapon. Uh, and also uh, with the, the air to air changes, they'll be able to to equip composite armor and further increase their nose gun resistance. So that'll make them tanky against uh, aircraft. Permission to lose this fight is denied. And you'll have to resort to uh, to other methods like Coyotes. Well, I mean, you'll still be able to pick them off from distance. And uh, my personal hope, this is just random. It's not, it's completely not set in stone. There's no even, like, I haven't even talked to the team about it, but it's just, so it's just a personal thing uh, that I would like to see is, um, I don't think I'm spotted. And spotted uh, means, means basically dead. Because everybody sees you, including this infiltrator that's up here in this max unit. <laughs> Where is everybody? This hex has like has very few people in it. It's kind of weird. Maybe they're all fighting uh, a little bit south, south of the the hex's border. But yeah, what I would like to see for, um... Oh, here comes the shotgun. Oh no, that's ours. For an ESF nose gun is actually uh, an anti, anti-armor anti nose gun. Enemy engineer in the area! In the way- what? Was that really? That wasn't Terran Republic voice, was it? I think I'm, I'm flipping out. <laughs> I was like, I thought that was NC, but it's probably just the guy behind me. He was, <laughs> he's probably just like <laughs> laughing his balls off. Uh. But yeah, the, uh, why am I getting a, a red? No! Enemy 
I can't even like, I can't even think to, to finish what I was saying. Um. Okay. Here. Here. I would like to drop one on the steps, and hopefully that guy is he's just going to stand on it. Yep. Yep, there's the EMP. Whoop! There it is. Come on. Where yeah, Infiltrator? Oh, did he get revived? I shouldn't. Should not have. Went for that guy. There we are. Ah, man, this guy's stalking me, and you can't even like, cannot even see him. Just the so much cover and the the darkness. It's, it's great. I think it's awesome. Also adds more value to uh, to IRN V scopes, but not the vehicle night vision because that's dumb. <laughs> that's I shouldn't say it's dumb. It's just you know not useful. So so there's that. But uh, I think that um, Bill's actually trying to change that as well. But, uh, yeah, I just want to finish my sentence. So I was, I think it'd be really cool to have a, an anti-vehicle nose gun that's dedicated for it. You know, it's like set up for it you know, on ESF. I think that'd be, that'd be really cool. So instead of just, you know, your Hornet missiles, you can spec differently to deal with enemy vehicles as well. But at the same time, you don't want it to like, you know, shred ESF. So you want to give it a, a super low projectile velocity and you want to, I was actually thinking like an automatic burst weapon would be like annoying to use or more annoying to use you know in the air but uh definitely usable against vehicles so that could be that could be fun but that's just a random concept and a random idea what we haven't even like we didn't even touch any of the construction stuff and i think that's that's not a horrible thing because because it should be i, I mean it shouldn't be separate right it should feel integrated into the game which right now it really doesn't it's more like the side thing that you can do if you want and uh, we're taking steps to to change it um like we'll be able to to make player bases something that you can instantly spawn into when they're under attack uh, we're making it so you can have a module that makes it a, a reinforcements needed location you know provided the conditions are met so if people are fighting nearby you can you know drop a, a bunch of people in there and have like a real fight on your hands uh and we're just we're doing a lot of things uh, to change construction system and definitely give it a bit more life uh, in the game. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, little little romp ended up what 5.3 KD. I can dig it. Uh, and some fun here in Western Amorish with Shrouded Skyway and the Scarfield Reliquary. But uh, yeah, if you if you like this sort of thing or if you have any questions about uh, the weapons that I was using. Uh, or maybe even loadout options or anything really, yeah, just let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks very much, folks. Rel signing off.